Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So as you guys may or may not know, I'm currently living in Korea and I work as a full-time entertainer. Now I get a lot of questions about my work and some of them come from people who are just starting out in the entertainment field. So I thought it would be a good idea to talk about how I prepare for my shoots. Maybe some of you guys are curious, or if you just started out in the field, I really hope that this can help you a little bit for your upcoming shoot. And just a disclaimer, this is coming from someone who is working in Korea and the type of work I do is mostly acting, commercial, education, live home shopping. I don't do much uh, fashion modeling anymore. Um, the only modeling I mostly do now is skincare. So this is based on my experience, um, especially in kind of commercial acting. So first up, let's talk about grooming. So first, of course, you know, you need to take a shower. Now, when you're in the shower, make sure that you shave. So if it's the winter time and, you know, maybe you think that your legs may not be shown, still shave because there is a high chance that you may be wearing a skirt or shorts or something. Especially shooting commercials or like even lookbooks in fashion modeling, usually they do it a season before because they have to edit and do everything. I remember this one girl, she forgot to shave because it was the winter time and they put her in this like outfit that had a skirt on and they actually had to go out and buy a razor so she could shave her legs. So always make sure that you uh, shave. And also your hair is pretty important. So the hairstylists, they have to work with your hair. So I like to wash my hair, but they always tell me, the stylists always tell me to only wash with shampoo. If you use conditioner, then it's a little bit harder to work with. And also they say don't use any products, just use shampoo when washing your hair. So this way it's more easier for the hairstylist and things will just go a lot more smoothly. And one of the things that I like to do before and also after a shoot is I like to have a good skincare routine. I like to make sure that before the shoot, my skin is in really good condition. It's really moisturized. That way the makeup can go on smoothly and I can look better on camera. And the aftercare for my skin after a shoot is also very, very important. So speaking of skincare, one brand that I use almost every day and I introduced a few times on my channel is April Skin. And I just fell in love with their new product that they just released recently, which is their Keratin IPMP Calming Serum Pads. So I feel like serum pads are like the next generation of sheet masks. These are a lot more easier to put on compared to sheet masks. Like sheet masks are really big, um, but these, they come in these pads and they're really easy to put on your face and what i really really like about this is that it automatically soothes your skin so not only is this really moisturizing and hydrating but it also helps cool down your skin it can help relieve sensitive skin and it's also really good for those with acne because it has keratin in it and i was not sure what keratin was but um yes it is derived from carrot so carrots are packed with antioxidants and it has beta carotene. So if you're wondering what beta carotene is, um, it actually helps smooth out your skin. So it helps with the bumps, whiteheads, and help with your skin texture. So this is really good for those with acne because it has a blend of IPMP and beta carotene. And it has three types of carrot derived ingredients carrot water, carrot extract, and carrot seed oil. So you can get all of those benefits into your skin. It's hypoallergenic, so it's great for sensitive skin like mine. It's vegan, so no animal testing, no animal products inside. And they use recyclable packaging. And the pads are actually biodegradable, which is kind of rare. And the pads are quite thin, so just be careful because you may pick up two like I did. So for me, I just like putting two on my cheeks, one on my forehead. Maybe if I want to go crazy, I'll cut one in half and put it on my nose and chin. So even without putting them in the refrigerator, you're able to cool down your skin. So they're really good in the summer or maybe some countries or states that are hotter. My skin is very sensitive to the sun and even though it is September, we still have a lot of sun here in Korea. So I actually got burnt 
yesterday i got burnt a bit on my face so i used these last night and it really helped just cool down my skin and not only the weather but when i do shoots my skin gets really irritated they're putting on a lot of product and they're touching it up so when i take off my makeup sometimes my skin is kind of irritated so that's why i really like using these at night and one plus about lowering the temperature of your skin it can actually help reduce your pores so i really like that because my makeup can just go on a lot smoother so that's why also i like to use this before my shoots too now because these things are just drenched soaked in product it's really easy for me to do other things while i have it on like i've blow dried my hair i've done my makeup i've cleaned with these on so i can do other things while i prep my skin now after i use this when i take them off because it contains a lot of concentrated product my skin is just glowing it's super super moisturized and i talked about another keratin product before in my video and using these two products if i start getting redness on my skin especially if it's caused by irritation or even allergies it really reduces the redness i was very very surprised so if i ever get some redness or bumps coming in i always grab this serum pad to try to make sure that it doesn't get worse and i've noticed that it calms down and the redness goes away much quicker so if you want to soothe out your skin give moisture it really helps when you're doing shootings before and after i definitely recommend these serum pads by april skin if you're interested then the link is in my description and going off with grooming i always like to trim my nails this is super super important especially if you're working in commercial a lot of times in commercial shootings you're working with a product so you have to hold the product and there may be some close-up shots so they always want to make sure that you have nice nails and i also don't paint my nails ever pretty much because usually they like clean nails. Now I'm sure if you had some simple manicure or some clear nail polish or something very natural, that's fine, but you may have to ask if it's okay. And not only my fingernails, but also my toes. So there has been times where they need this feet shot. <laughs> um, so I always try to make sure I cut my toenails. So for example, there was a commercial photo shoot for LG and it was just for a speaker. So I didn't think that my feet were going to be shown, but one shot was me outside, bare feet, and the speaker was next to me. I remember I just wasn't expecting that my feet were going to be shown. So my toenails were a little bit on the longer side. <laughs> because I just kind of, you know, I forgot to trim them. So it was really awkward. But thankfully, I oftentimes bring nail clippers when I go to shoots. I keep them in my backpack. So I went to the bathroom and I did a little clipping and I was okay. So trim your nails, your fingernails and also your toenails. And speaking of trimming, also I like to make sure that my eyebrows are trimmed. I need to do them right now because they are looking a little bushy, but I like to trim and kind of shape them. Sometimes the makeup artists, they do have the razor to shape your eyebrows. And if they want to shape them a little more, or if I do have some hairs I forgot to trim, they usually ask me, oh, is it okay if I just, you know, trim this little bit? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. But sometimes they don't always have those. So I think it's always good to trim those up just to make things easier, you know? Okay, so you finished with the grooming and you want to know what to wear. So I'll tell you what I like to wear on the day of a shoot. So typically, usually, they always provide the clothing on set, but for really small shootings like YouTube or maybe Kickstarter shoots, they don't have a lot of funding. So they usually send a reference photo and they ask that I come with those items. So in that case, I usually like to send pictures and verify that this outfit is okay. And I usually like to come with 
more than one outfit just in case it doesn't work out. So if they have clothing on set, then I usually like to come in pretty comfortable clothing. I like to wear clothes that I can easily change in and out of. T-shirt, comfortable pants, usually not something too tight. And this is really important. This next thing, it's so important. Wear a nude bra and nude panties, preferably the ones without like that seam in it. It is so, so important. Oh my gosh. You may be wearing something white. You don't know and it may show. So it's always really, really important to wear a nude color bra and panties. I remember I did this one shoot before. So we were dressed up as AIs and I remember I didn't do my laundry. Um, so my nude panties were in the laundry. So I only had black underwear. And of course, the whole outfit is white. So what did they have to do? They had to go and drive and buy some nude panties for me to wear. And it was very embarrassing, you know? Yeah, maybe it's best to avoid that situation. So always wear nude undergarments. <laughs> And not only nude underwear, but also I like to wear clean white socks. Sometimes the stylists, they forget about socks. Not all the time, but sometimes. It's always good to just kind of have those just in case. Because I feel like that's one thing that's kind of looked over a lot of times at shoots in my experience. Next, what should I bring to a shoot? Now I'm kind of like a mom in the sense that I like to be very prepared. So I oftentimes bring a backpack and I have my goodies and things inside. So first thing I like to always have just in case is a nude strapless bra because sometimes they're like, hey, put on this cami. But I'm like, what about the bra? And they're like, oh, what about the bra? I feel like it is a must have for people doing shootings, especially if you're doing a lot of modeling, especially for beauty shootings like skincare. They often put me in a cami or something. So I always have that in handy just in case. Now, another thing, it's going to be long probably. So I like to bring my phone charger and also a charged portable charger just in case I'm sitting or want to sit in an area that doesn't have a plug and I want to use my phone. They have to set up the different angles and sometimes they are shooting different scenes of the products or other actors or actresses. So there's a lot of wait time so you'll probably be bored. So I know people that like to bring books or tablet. I'm okay with just my phone but if you're someone that likes to read a book then you can bring that along with you. And another thing that I like to pack is a water bottle. Usually there should be like a lot of water bottles too but if they have that water fountain I usually prefer that and that way I'm not using a lot of plastic if they have water bottles. It's just the personal preference for me. But yeah, there should be a lot of water on set and usually there are some snacks and stuff too. Okay, but talking about snacks, so oftentimes there is like no food for me at all, no options. So <laughs> I have to be prepared for that. Now, if it's like a big shoot like LG, we usually shoot in Paju, which is away from the city at this big studio in the middle of nowhere. Usually they have food trucks. Usually I can get rice and maybe one or two banchan with some vegetables. So I usually like to bring tofu or something with protein when I go to shoots just in case. Um, otherwise, if I'm shooting in Seoul, we can get something delivered to our location. But yeah, usually I like to try to bring some healthy snacks and tofu just in case I only have like rice. And another thing I bring, which is totally preference, I like to bring my own little thing of soy milk or almond milk because usually they have espresso or iced Americanos on set. 
so I usually like to bring my own milk so I can make my own latte. Okay, so those were some things that I like to do to prepare for shoots in Seoul, South Korea. So hopefully it was a little bit helpful for you guys, especially those who are just starting out. And if you are in this field, I wish you guys the best of luck. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.